We do our consult for our solar with Tex. So what do you want to run? That. We've got our like television DVD player there. Like we want a lot of we have Microwave. a run. Microwave. You can't everything but the AC, right? We can run. Can't yeah. run the AC. Uh. Right. Mostly, yeah, yeah. No, you know, no, no, you can't. No. Okay. The, the uh, you know the refrigerators it switches back and forth between propane and the AC. Uh, it can run on propane even uh -huh. on propane. Yeah. Um, what else? Like you're going to be, be charging like a laptop, computers, two, two laptops. Uh, we've got these, uh, these, do, uh, I have a uh, humidifiers that I use for, you know, you cook propane, no electric. propane, right. right. A, a microwave. Can we use that on solar? Yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely microwave. What is it? Half an hour a day or something. Has what? Well, half an hour a day. Use it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We don't, yeah. yeah. Just for Very like, little. just to cook a couple things. Um, Radio, well, you yeah. know, your outlets just for, like I said, like uh, maybe a fan, you know, very small fan back there, mm -hmm. uh, charging two, like two cell phones no, we know. and a laptop or two. We honestly don't know a lot about what we would need it for, uh, except for just basically the outlets that we're missing out on right now. So. I would say solar's a dick thing. So uh huh. If you get solar, you like to plug your stuff in. Yes, yeah. that's what we like to do. Oh, right. So we've got yeah, yeah. a couple computers. We got kids have you know we do homeschool, road schooling now. So mm -hmm. we want to move from the workbooks to them having their own uh, you know computers. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be having courses. Yeah. So I would say uh, six hundred watts on solar. That's what I said. Good. Mm -hmm. I've been doing a little research, but like I don't know if we have room up there. I mean, do you have to go oh, look? Now, okay. how many panels do you think it would take? I mean, can you get 200 watts? I'd like to keep it to, I don't want a lot of weight up there. Mm -hmm. So, what's your suggestion there? Um, the lady yesterday bought some 170 watt panels, I guess. Okay. For 100, what was it, 100? A watt per, per right. dollar. Right. Okay. So, about that. Okay. Oh, and okay. They are. So that'd be about four panels. Five feet by thirty-five. Okay. Something. Okay. Um, so that will, will fit. We yeah. just order them off Amazon. Yeah. Like uh, I know he yeah. said something like Lowe's even had stuff. Was that or Home Depot or something? One of the I yeah. I was looking on. They had the Renogy, and then you, have you heard? Home you Depot? know the Grape, Grape, Solar. Have you ever heard of those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are those good, or what do you think? I don't know. Okay. I've never heard of anyone using them, but yeah, they were. I've, uh, I've seen people say good yeah. stuff about okay. great. So we just yeah. need about six hundred. And what about all the other stuff that goes with it? Batteries and batteries, um, three hundred amp hour. Okay, three hundred amp hour. So you can use one hundred and fifty amp hours out of that. You need a solar charger for for the six hundred watts. Okay. And MPPT. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's better, right? Yeah. What is it? MP, MPPT. MPPT. Which Mo stands Mo for? Multi point power, multi power point tracking. Okay. Yeah. So. And then uh, we found this little inverter. Is that, that's just something we use to plug in like our cell that's phone. Just a little, it just basically yeah. charges a cell phone at a time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, does the wattage for the MPPT need to match? How do you do that? I mean, the panels. It has to match exactly. Yeah. Like if we get 600, it has to be 600. 600 watts. Or does it, can it be more if you're going to add later? More if panels? you want to add later, yeah. Get a, get you could a get add. like, say, like 600 panel in panels and then a thousand for your MPPT. Sure. You can do that. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. you as say as it's, it's addicting. So, <laughs> <if you want laughs> see what I'm saying? Solar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been saving for a couple of years what to get would, some panels and stuff. So, we're ready to buy What would be those. the reasons we would need to expand, though, if we had 600? Do you think that, I mean, because that's enough for what we have, right? If you have an electric kettle later or yeah, if we want to plug in a, a electric skillet or anything yeah, like that, because yeah. there's not a lot of go, go down the road and at night you want to switch on the AC for an hour. Or okay, something. awesome. So you could actually do that for a very short time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, if you had, yeah. say, how much? Uh, you need a two thousand watt inverter. Two thousand. Two. Okay, so we do need a two thousand watt inverter. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll need to buy an inverter for our solar, right? Uh, the inverter is about six hundred and eighty bucks. Two thousand okay. watt. Um, carry, we, we put some in, one in, in Carrie's right. Carrie's uh, van okay. yesterday. 
Um, it's 2000. So is that something we should buy the 2000 watt inverter to go ahead and get that? with our solar okay how do you want to hook it up to to the van you i don't know run all the plugs or can you that's what we need you for <laughs> we don't know i mean you can run, run extension cords of the of the inverter okay but uh i would say you have a generator on board? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah you need a transfer switch for that okay where's the generator at it's back over here so would we like to, will we have like a box for our solar and all that? Where would we put something like that? Um, do you do you have to plug in your your uh, shore power cord to the to mm -hmm. a plug inside? Yeah. Okay, so you don't have a automatic transfer switch. Um, but for the for the inverter, you need one okay. because uh, the inverter is hooked up to the same battery. What this little. Um, um, there's a power supply in your in your mm -hmm. electric box. Oh. Yeah, if you plug into shore power, they will charge your batteries. And your inverter is hooked up to the same battery. So if you if you start the inverter, it sends power to this one and want to charge the same battery. What the inverter is coming for. Mm -hmm. So that okay. that that is burning up both both okay. units. Uh, 600 watt is a 50 amp MPPT controller. If you want to go bigger, get a 71 or 70 amp one or even bigger. If you want to expand later, you need a charge controller. You need a battery monitor. It tells you the state of charge of your battery. Okay, right. You don't want to go under 50 percent. Where do we put that? Something like that, just on the battery the monitor. You can you can put under. I guess you can put under your your uh, thermostat. Oh, run okay. it down. Show me a compartment. Uh, for the outside generator. Oh, okay. Yeah, generator and, and, and okay. the way you store your stuff. I'm recording it because so we can look back and say, okay, we need yeah. this and that. Yeah. Yeah. This we just got this and we're brand new, so we really don't know about solar at all. We're just learning. That's kind of why we're here. What? What? <laughs> so it says. 24, oh well, that's, no, that's a, that's a dimension something. So that, cranking that's a, amps, cranking amps, 425. Uh, reserve capacity, 130 amp hour is this. Okay. Reserve capacity is this. Okay. So we need right. more battery and stuff, um, right? In the long run, you don't want to mix, mix batteries. Okay. So if you want to do a drive, get one set of batteries for your solar system. Okay, and separate. Keep, keep these if the engine battery dies someday. And okay. Okay. So charge controller, the battery monitor, the inverter, and the panels. Uh, the panels and the transfer switch. Yeah. Transfer switch. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so we we order all that, and they'll know what to do with all that and mm -hmm. how it's separate and all that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you yeah. so much. That's really all we needed was just a consult. Solar cable is, is ten gauge. Okay. Get ten a, gauge. Okay. Get a solar one, so don't don't break on your roof. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you battery, suggest battery cable is about uh, two gauge? Two gauge battery cable. Two gauge if I don't find out, come so back and find two gauge uh, <laughs> slash zero. Yeah. Not the two gauge two slash zero. Each two perfect. slash yeah. zero. Side, yeah. Okay. It's about. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Thick gauge. Thick, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you recommend the panels of it can tilt up, of course, I guess, to get, or does it really matter if they stay flat? I have 1600 watts on my pan, uh, panel size and it's mm -hmm. pulling in 600 watts. So that's the winter time. Okay. All right. so, a, are they tilted? No. Or are they no, just no. laying flat? Just flat. No, just flat. So do you think we could just get away with Tilting them just is staying flat? Plus 30%. That'll, oh, that'll up you. Up oh, you. okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you have uh, tilting ones? You just don't, because you have a lot of solar. I have a lot of solar. Yeah, you don't really yeah. need the extra uh, umph. How much do you have now? 1600. 1600, okay. Um, fuse wise, uh, going to the inverter, the big fuse, 300 amp. And um, you want to have a battery disconnect, a switch. That's about okay. 50 bucks. Has to be rated for 400 amps. And you want to have a switch to switch off the solar coming in. We want to switch, be so able to switch it off. So you park the RV for a couple of weeks or... And not use it. We want to turn it off. Okay. Good Good to know. Yeah. 
So I so could text you, you or call. Text me, I'll come over. Okay. okay. Now, are you all going to ca uh, catch back up with us at all as a group, or are you just going to stay out there for a couple of days over there, okay. maybe a week or something, and then we'll go to Portside? For okay. The winter. Yeah. We are and we'll over be there in Portside. All right. Okay. Well, we'll be there we'll eventually, be and uh, it'll be our first time. So, yeah. yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. Thank you for your time. All right. All right. Thank you Appreciate so much. You Thank you. Appreciate you. See you later. All right. Um, cheapest place to buy is uh, Bay Marine Supply in San Diego. Bay Marine Bay Supply. And we yeah. can order from them and they can just ship it here. Yeah. Okay. Bay Marine That's Supply. What I saw so far. Bay okay. Marine Supply. I have no relationship with them. Okay. Okay. They are cheap so far. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you so Thank much. You.